Welcome to Toon Tot's Playground. Hi, little learners. I'm so happy you're here. This is the place where we have fun, hear exciting stories, and learn something new every time. Today's story is going to be super exciting, and I can't wait to share it with you. So sit back, get comfy, and let's go on a fun adventure together. Are you ready to learn something new? Let's begin. One evening, as the sun began to set, a curious boy named Leo and his best friend Mia sat in their backyard, looking up at the twinkling stars. I wonder what's out there in space, Mia said her eyes wide with curiosity. Just then, a soft glowing light appeared in front of them. It was Captain Cosmo, a tiny, friendly alien with shimmering blue skin and big, bright eyes. He wore a shiny silver spacesuit with a glowing star emblem on his chest. Hello, young explorers, Captain Cosmo said with a cheerful voice. Would you like to take a trip through the solar system? Leo and Mia gasped in excitement. Yes, yes, we'd love to! Captain Cosmo clapped his hands, and in a flash, a sparkling silver spaceship appeared. The doors opened, and the children eagerly stepped inside. The spaceship hummed to life, and with a whoosh, they zoomed into the sky. The journey begins the spaceship stopped in front of a huge, glowing ball of fire. This is the sun, Captain Cosmo explained. It's the heart of our solar system. It gives us heat and light. Leo and Mia felt the spaceship get a little warm. Whoa, it's so big and bright, Mia said, shading her eyes. Captain Cosmo nodded. It's so powerful that it keeps all the planets moving around it. The spaceship zoomed to a small gray planet with lots of holes on its surface. This is Mercury, said Captain Cosmo. It's the closest planet to the sun, so it's very, very hot during the day. But at night, it's freezing cold. Leo looked closely. It has so many craters. That's because meteors crash into it all the time, Captain Cosmo explained. Next, they reached a glowing orange planet covered in thick clouds. This is Venus, said Captain Cosmo. It's even hotter than Mercury because of all the thick clouds that trap the heat. Mia wrinkled her nose. It looks pretty, but I bet it's too hot to live there. That's right. Captain Cosmo laughed. Venus is like a giant oven. Soon they saw a beautiful blue and green planet. This is our home, Earth, Captain Cosmo said proudly. It has air to breathe, water to drink, and plants and animals everywhere. Leo and Mia smiled. Earth is perfect for us. That's why we must take good care of it. Captain Cosmo reminded them. They zoomed past a dusty red planet. This is Mars, Captain Cosmo said. Scientists think there might have been water here long ago, Mia pointed. Look, a big volcano. That's Olympus Mons, the tallest volcano in the whole solar system, Captain Cosmo said. Suddenly, the spaceship flew through a rocky area filled with floating space rocks. This is the asteroid belt, Captain Cosmo said. It separates the small rocky planets from the big gas planets. Leo watched as the spaceship carefully dodged the asteroids. This is so cool! Next, they reached a huge planet with swirling clouds. This is Jupiter! Captain Cosmo said, the biggest planet in our solar system. Look at that giant red spot. It's a storm that's been raging for hundreds of years. Wow, Mia gasped. That's one huge storm. The spaceship floated toward a beautiful golden planet with shimmering rings around it. This is Saturn. 
Captain Cosmo said. Its rings are made of ice and rock. Leo's eyes widened. It looks magical. It sure does, Captain Cosmo smiled. And Saturn is so light that it could float in water, if there was a bathtub big enough. They reached a blue-green planet lying on its side. This is Uranus, Captain Cosmo explained. It's the coldest planet and spins sideways. Mia giggled. A sideways planet? That's funny. Finally, they reached a dark blue planet. This is Neptune, Captain Cosmo said. It's the farthest planet from the sun, and it has the strongest winds in the whole solar system. Leo held onto his seat. I wouldn't want to get caught in those winds. That was our magical space adventure. But now it's time to go home. With a whoosh, the spaceship zoomed back to Earth, landing gently in Leo and Mia's backyard. Wow, Mia cheered. That was the best adventure ever. Leo nodded. We learned so much about space, Captain Cosmo winked. Keep looking up at the stars. You never know what adventures await. With a final glow, he disappeared into the night sky. Leo and Mia lay back on the grass, looking up at the stars, dreaming of their next adventure. The end. Wow, that was such a fun adventure. I hope you enjoyed today's story and learned something new. If you had a great time, don't forget to like this video, share it with your friends, and subscribe to Toon Tots Playground for more amazing stories and fun learning. And remember to hit the bell icon so you never miss a new adventure. Thanks for watching, little explorers. See you next time.